Hello and welcome to Spotlight, where we turn the focus on companies or products that are of special interest at the moment. And we've got a great one for you today. Advanced aircraft are really big news at the moment, from passenger to cargo. And today we're looking at the mid-mile and final mile cargo distribution and uncrewed operations. Now, one company we've met on these programs before was Samad Aerospace, which had some cracking aircraft and backing from the Gulf. But now it's got a new name to Arc Aerosystems. And I'm joined by Syed Mosini, the founder and CEO of Arc. Syed, welcome to the program. But why the new branding? Thanks very much. It's a pleasure to talk to you, uh, Alan. Um, we changed the name because we wanted the, the name to be more representative of the company mission. And ARC stands for Advancing Regional Connectivity. And uh, something that we are really excited about. Our, our vision is to be able to uh, connect various uh, uh, points, including the communities and the companies, uh, feeding their need of um, um, quick, efficient, and environmentally friendly um, uh, links uh, through the unmanned uh, aircraft and also manned. So let's look at these latest unmanned product. Are they in the air already? Yeah, this, the, the, the RC600 is... Uh, one of the spin-off product of the, the Starlink R&D uh, program. Uh, and the, originally the, the, the half-scale prototype of, uh, of Starlink, uh, after it completed its, its flight, we thought, now how can we utilize the, the results of this R&D work? And that turned to um, be the spin-off product called C600. That stands for, in a way, cargo. 600 is the 600 kilogram maximum takeoff weight. It is one of the top three biggest uh, or heaviest uh, um, uncrewed uh, aircraft in the world um, when it comes to the you know, veto capability uh, in the civil market. Uh, so the aircraft is capable of carrying up to 150 kilogram of uh, payload within a range of uh, um, maximum 400 miles if it's hybrid electric and if it's you know pure electric is 135 miles um, and it is designed for the mid-mile delivery connecting the distribution hubs connecting various um, uh, companies that they would require uh, delivery uh, at an efficient uh, but also um, time-sensitive uh, mission. So what's the physical size and how do you power these aircraft? It's, a, it's, a, it's about eight, eight metre uh, wingspan um, and uh, we have two versions of electric and, and, and hybrid electric version of this. We're also studying uh, in collaboration with a couple of our partners and, and Nottingham University uh, the use of possible use of hydrogen uh, for this aircraft, so even the hybrid version uh, ultimately would be uh, running on, on, on renewables. But in the beginning, uh, the, the hybrid version would have a combination of battery power, but uh, also conventional fuel. Great. Now, moving on then to the C-150, presumably that's the smaller version. Yes, yes. C-150 on a similar configuration uh, in terms of the, 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 the platform, it's, it's a proven configuration. Um, it falls into the category B uh, UAV, uh, 150 kilogram uh, maximum takeoff weight with a capability of around sort of 20 to 25, 30 kilogram of uh, payload uh, within a range of uh, 400 uh, kilometers for hybrid electric and 100 kilometers for, um, for, for pure electric. Um, this is um, planned for uh, emergency deliveries, like for example, medicine um, uh, or, or any or parcels that have uh, time sensitivities uh, for, for the delivery. It uh, also could be uh, used for surveillance application for various uh, you know, oil and gas applications like recognitions of the methane in certain areas, uh, leakages on the, on, the, on the pipelines, because the aircraft, um, it doesn't need a runway, so it can take off and land from a small, you know, 
patch of land. Um, and then it can fly like a fixed wing aircraft at the speed of uh, um, an average 100 kilometers per hour. I'd like to just ask you now about investment. You mentioned the British government supporting you, but I understand you've been working with partners in different places around the world. I mean, we're, we're talking here about our region, of course, and we know that there's a huge appetite for investing in new technologies and particularly green ways of doing things. So are you open to investment? Uh, yes, I mean, the company has been uh, developed uh, in a sort of Silicon Valley style startup. So we started back in 2017. Uh, we have um, uh, conducted almost like um, about half a million uh, engineering man hours on, on, on these uh, developments. So very valuable work has gone in, in, into this. And uh, over the past five years, uh, almost coming to six years, uh, we have uh, raised about eight million pounds uh, of equity investment, uh, which that uh, majority of that was in the last round, the pre-series A round, where we raised six million pounds uh, through an investment by British Business Bank, but also another um, uh, professional uh, investor based in uh, UAE, actually. So, uh, yes, at this stage, we are actively uh, conducting the fundraising at the moment. Well, thank you, Syed. We really wish you the very, very best of luck with these uh, projects, and we look forward to seeing them flying in our skies soon. So thank you so much for joining us on the programme.